carry your medication with you everywhere. Even if you go across the street to your best friend's house, take your medication everywhere you go. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking you through the bags I own. And you may be wondering why I'm going to be talking to you about bags. Well, actually, bags are really important when it comes to allergies. You have to keep your medication somewhere and take it with you at all times. And a lot of the time, people don't carry their medication, their EpiPens, their inhalers, because they don't want to carry a bag. I'm guilty of this, honestly, throughout my whole teenage child life, I was really uncomfortable with taking a bag with me everywhere I went. So I used to leave my bag with my friends bags and just run around the school because I didn't want to be the person that is carrying around a bag all the time. I didn't want to be that allergy girl, right? Um, comment down below if you felt this way too. And so over the years, I have realized that one, you have to take your medication with you everywhere you go. You just do. But also, I've found different bags to carry my EpiPens and my inhalers and my antihistamines around with me that's not bulky, that's not an alert system of allergies, 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 and it's enabled me to feel more confident and to feel like I don't have to be the allergy person because I'm always carrying a bag. I think it's really important for the people out there who don't carry a purse or don't carry a bag and don't fit into that stereotype of women carrying bags because you don't have to carry a bag in order to carry your medication but you do have to put it somewhere and I am going to show you how. So wait till the end of this video and I will show you how to carry your EpiPens and your medication without carrying a bag. If you like this topic or you're excited about this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get alerted every time I post a video. Now, let's get into it. Before I show you my bags, I also want to show you the my bag inside of my bags my medicine bag. Now, I bought this only in the last few months um, because normally I've just been popping everything into my bag, but I've realized that having a bag inside your bag where it did, does detail your medicine and it shows people a bag that's really prominent of allergies. Um, and f for me, it's, you can sometimes I take this to the restaurant, only this, with my phone and my keys. Um, so that everybody knows this is my medicine. Also, it has how to use the Jext pens at the back of it, and that's what I have now because it's really hard to find EpiPens. So I have the Jext 300, and it's just a perfect little pouch, and I put it inside of my bags. If I have big bags, I put it inside of my bag so I never lose them inside of my bag. They are always in here. And my two Jext pens always carry two and it's so important this is your reminder to check the date so that they do not expire because mine have expired but I'm going to check I'm going to um, pick up my new ones today my Ventolin so I have a preventer um, and I take that every morning and every night and I haven't actually had an asthma attack in I think over a year now which is really great for me but I keep this any I keep this when I go out just in case I do end up having um, an allergic reaction or if my breathing gets shallow I can just t take this and I feel better antihistamines my antihistamines is just in case I feel a little itchy I do have AOS so sometimes I will eat something and my mouth will just feel not great, so I can. I know it's not an anaphylactic reaction, so I'll take an antihistamine and then I feel better. Or with seasonal allergies, which I have two environmental, I take this in the morning or in the evening. Sometimes at night it's a lot 
it's worse so I take it just before bed so that I can have a restful night so I keep this in the bag just in case anything happens paracetamol um, I don't know why it's in there but it's a medication bag so I keep it just in case I don't feel well <laughs> my allergy card now I have to update this um, I haven't been out all year to eat as I'm sure lots of you haven't so I haven't updated it but when I do update it I'm gonna update it to equal eats card I'll leave the um, website down below but equal eats is a great resource for allergy cards um, and they have them in different languages I have them on my phone as well um, and that's just really important to have your allergy especially if you have multiple allergies to have your list with you at all times with your EpiPen so even if you know you're unconscious and they don't understand what's happening they have your list with your EpiPen so they know that you have anaphylaxis band-aids plasters just in case you know blisters you never know if you're going out all the time all of that and I zip that up and I have everything in there now so when I go into my biggest bag which is oh my overnight bag I can just pop that in my bag and it's on top and that's it with my overnight allergy bag I have my case my medicine and then I have my water bottle I've got some books as well uh, diaries my my laptop my pajamas and I also have a first aid now why why do I have a first aid well I'm also, I, I'm a nanny, so I keep a first aid anyway, but it's just any little things that I have, and I have more paracetamol, I have more um, allergy cards, I have blisters, I have dressings, you just never know, especially, especially if you are somebody with health issues, you never want to be, um, you never want to be caught off guard with health so um, I like to keep a first aid and sometimes I will keep in ex my expired EpiPens or Jex pens in here just as a backup for when I go overnight. That's an overnight trip, not daily, overnight, just in case I like to keep more options um, with me. It's my everyday bag. My everyday bag is quite, sm it's relatively smaller than the big bag, but it is um, durable. It's flexible. I have pockets in here for my mask, which right now we have to do mask. And usually I keep my um, gloves in there as well, so it's easy access. Then I have my water bottle. I always keep water just in case, especially if I want to take my antihistamines. It's good to have water. I could just pop it anywhere um, I feel like I need it. Then I've got my medicine bag because it's uh, the bag's big enough to fit this. Um, I've got my phone. I always carry a book just in case. I'm reading um, Don't Kill the Birthday Girl right now, which is going to be a video coming up soon. So definitely hit that subscribe to get that video. And then just my phone. And, and I have an extra mask as well, um, just in case. So that's my big durable bag with my money and a work bag. Now, before the pandemic, I went to study and do some work at cafes and bars. So I used to take my big work bag before I went to nannying and it had all my food in it. I'll show you what that looks like. So this bag is from Buff Bunny called the Game Changer Bag and I just love it. They also have backpacks in it as well. They didn't have the backpack when I bought this, but I just love this bag. So they, I have my laptop in there. I have my diaries and planner for work. Um, they've got zips in here for your phone. They've got a back so that you can put your phone in there for protection. And I can, it's big enough to fit my purse again. But if not, if you don't want to, if you don't have this purse, you don't know what to do. What I love about it is that this little inside zip is big enough to fit everything in it. And I will show you. I'm taking everything out of here and I'm putting it in this big purse there and now no one knows anything about anything and it's just fitting up in here and you've got so much space and you don't need to carry this bag and then one of my favorite 
favourite parts of this bag is the meal prep section. Oh, I mean, what? This compartment is in the end of the bag and it's in a separate location and you can fit your meal prep in here and it's massive at the bottom of the section. So I've got this massive box that I'm fitting in here and then I could have another little bowl box in there but I'm, I've decided to take my Nomo chocolate in here and then you zip it up and then it's just a bag. And so if, it, if anything does spill, you've got liquids, you've got water bottle in there, it won't spill on any of your notebooks, it won't spill on your computer, and um, it keeps it cool, and it's the best part of this bag. Especially you guys know that I'm massive in meal prep, I have my ebook about meal prep, food prep, so this is so important, especially if you're going out all day for work, like working, you've got, I, I fit my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner, and my snacks, maybe not my dinner, but my breakfast, lunch, and snacks, in this bottom bag so it is amazing and you can put your EpiPens and your medicine in this little compartment and it's it's just big enough to fit everything I just love this bag and I really miss going to cafes <laughs> next are my three small bags and they're for different occasions but they're the smallest bags that I um, use, so I wanted to show you. So the first one is going to be my um, my city bag. So I got this for Christmas uh, for my mum, and what's great about it is that the height is long enough to fit your EpiPens in it, but it has multiple compartments. And then what is great is that you put it around your side and you can put a jacket over it. The reason I call it a city bag is so that you're protected when you're in the city and there's lots of people around you, maybe not now, but before when there's lots of people around you, your bag isn't going to be taken off or someone's going to steal anything. You've got everything in there and you can fit it underneath your jacket and it's protection. What I like to do is fit my EpiPens in the first compartment in there, my inhaler at the bottom, my card in between the EpiPens, my antihistamine and my paracetamol at the side, and there you go. You fit it in there. And then you've got space for your phone as well, cards, and everything it can be zipped up and done. Perfect. Now we go to going out. Oh, I miss going out. I really miss it. This is my going out bag. It's cute, it's little, it's, you know, but how big is the compartment? It's great, so it's like a little cute bag, but it's got a massive bottom, which is perfect for these bad boys. Just pop my EpiPens at the bottom of the bag, and then I have my inhaler, my allergy card, my pills. Pop that in there, still so much space phone, my cards. It's a little bulky, but I fit all of my medication in here. And there's still so much space to put anything else, to put lip gloss, makeup, anything like that in there. Next one, and this is, this is one that I use every single day. This is my running, walking belt. You can use it as like a city um, belt or if you want to go to the pub and you can put it underneath your jacket wherever you go you can just pop this underneath your jumper your jacket and it fits your EpiPen your keys and a card that's what I love about it um, so I'm going to show you how take my two EpiPens pop it in the front compartment and what I love about the front compartment is that it's see-through so that if people do if a paramedic does find you if someone does find you if you're alone you have they can see that you have um, medication straight away this is great for runners or um, anyone with exercise induced anaphylaxis this is great because you can take this out on a run and just in case that you have anything you know that you're protected the keys on this little clip there, take your phone, you take the keys out, take, put your phone 
I've been doing this for a long time so I kind of know how it is but it does have to be worked on because it took me a while to figure out how to um, how to make it work uh, so yeah you put the keys at the bo at the back and the phone in there and then you zip it up and there you go EpiPen phone keys all you need right my final bag and technically technically it is not a bag but it is the one thing I use day in day out and I am in love with it and it's allowed me not to have a bag and take everything that I need to take and here you go it's my jacket my jacket is I just got this last year and it's from Gymshark and it's the Whitney Simmons collection but what I love about this jacket is it's reversible so on the first side you have the waterproof jacket with large zip pockets like so and then on the softer side you have no zip large pockets but no zip so this is how I like to rearrange my stuff and what I love about this jacket is that you can't tell when you when you do what I'm going to show you you can't tell that you have an EpiPen or medication inside of your jacket and it allows you just to take your jacket out and I don't know about you but I have had so many times where I've just dreamed dreamed of just being able to take my jacket and go out of the house I used to always give my mum my EpiPens because I just didn't want to take a bag and she was taking a bag and especially as kids um, teenagers we just want to take a jacket you know we just want to take a jacket and I'm now feeling like I'm living up to my 16 year old dream of just taking a jacket and walking out of the house but before you take the jacket and walk out of the house you have to remember to put all of your medication inside of the jacket and I'm going to show you how I rearrange it what I like to do is take the zip pockets and put my medication in the zip pockets so I take my two EpiPens and pop them in one of the um, zip pockets inhaler and my medications in the other zip pocket then I'm going to take my card and pop it with the EpiPens I always pop it with the EpiPens because if someone's going to use my EpiPens they need to know what I am allergic to and I just like to keep them together don't know it's never happened to me I don't know if it is going to happen to me like you know no one's I've always been able to tell people what I've eaten when I've had a reaction but you just never know every reaction is different everyone manages allergies differently everyone has a reaction that's so different you just never know and then I put my um, then I put my cards in with my inhaler zip them up turn my jacket so that it the teddy bear is facing out phone in the teddy bear and technically I just I'm taking a jacket with my phone now can you tell there's any medication in there I know right so for me this is just my favorite thing and this can be you know there's probably a lot of people who um, make jackets like this honestly it's a game changer and I wish I had it when I was a teenager so um, anyone that wants to buy this jacket or anyone that was inspired by this jacket please buy it I know how hard it is to want to take a bag out and it's not sometimes it's just not what you want right and we deserve to just take a jacket and pop out to the shops so yeah I really think like this is for me like I've taken this jacket on dates sometimes take this out on dates and pop it underneath my jumper I would take that out dancing you know and I can keep it with me I used to leave my bags in the cloakroom because I didn't want to have a bag on the dance floor whereas if you can have this underneath your jumper or underneath your jacket uh, underneath your um, t-shirt then that's so incredible and then you don't have to worry about it that is such a barrier to teenagers bringing out their medication is because they don't want to take a bag and they don't want to be seen as the allergy person and I completely relate to that so I'm, I'm showing you all of this so that you can see that 
it doesn't always have to be so hard. The main point that I want to drive across is you do, you do have to take your medication with you everywhere that you go because even though you think it's safe, it's just not and you don't want to be caught off guard, you just don't. So take your medication with you ev everywhere but make it work for you. Get a jacket, get a little pouch, you know, get a little little baggie like this it depends on how you feel and how confident you are with your allergies but you know i'm 28 and it's been years i i would never have taken this when i was 16 right but i would have loved to take the jacket so do what works for you but carry your medication with you everywhere even if you go across the street to your best friend's house take your medication everywhere you go. That concludes my um, my bags, but um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it's given you some inspiration and that you feel like you kind of know now what bags that you want to take or that you feel a bit more inspired because you don't want to take a bag everywhere you go. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comments section below because I will talk to you. I love a chat and find me on Instagram and DM me. I, I'm in my DMs all the time. Um, I just love chatting to you. So thank you so much for watching and tell me what bags that you use down in the comments and hit that subscribe notification and please hit that like button because it really supports my channel and I will see you next week. Bye!